In February of 1997, I was president the, uh, at the presentation of the feasibility study that recommended the, the uh, creation of what would become University High School, which was interesting, and it was three years into the future. There were founding board members that came from Orchard, St. Richard's, and Sycamore School, and those were the three independent schools. They only go up to eighth grade, so those parents were all having to figure out what would come next. Well, interestingly, uh, we had children, my wife and I, at Orchard School, and as you know, that's a K through eight uh, school, one of the feeder schools to the high schools. And there was a community meeting that uh, was being arranged to talk about the need for a new high school. Six stalwarts who've been there since day one. Sandy Lange and Phil Himmelstein in particular, I think, were the ones that found the land, figured out how to put a consortium of investors together to buy the land. We didn't know that much about education. Uh, we didn't know um, anything about who a, a head of school might be, where the school was going to take place. Uh, and we uh, decided to have a series of meetings ourselves with the community to, to learn more about what the community wanted, where they thought the school might be, the kinds of issues that uh, they were facing. So as an outgrowth of, of that, we uh, engaged uh, a, a gentleman from Isaacs, the Independent School Accrediting Association for the Midwest, to uh, Pat Bassett to help advise us about the things we should think about. So he pointed out relatively quickly that we needed to find a good head of school who could begin leading the charge academically, hiring teachers, trying to develop a curriculum. Um, the whole group was very involved in the search committee to find Chuck and Nancy Webster. Um, and it was interesting, they brought in, as you would, you did a national search, you had people coming in from all over the place to be screened, and they interviewed three of those candidates. Without a uh, charismatic and experienced leader, it was clear to us that getting the school off the ground would be virtually impossible. So uh, we had hired uh, a woman from Cambridge, Massachusetts, Barbara Gilvar, to conduct this search. My husband, Chuck Webster, was in the process of looking for a new school to lead and uh, we were he was interviewing at schools on in California and on the East Coast and one day he uh, said to me well I've heard from uh, Barbara Gilvar and Associates and there's a school a startup high school in Indianapolis and they're looking for a head of school with his resume and his very formal letter of, of introduction of himself um, attached a eulogy he had given of a teacher in Michigan with whom he had worked. And as I read it, I, mean, I really had tears in my eyes. I said, this, this is an amazing person. Anyone who could have given this, could have written this, has a sensitivity and depth and passion and connection to the faculty at his school, which at Roper, that we'd love to bring down to uh, University High School. So when he walked in the room, it simply was confirmation of an instinct. As I think most people know, we started with four um, portable classrooms uh, in a pretty muddy field uh, just beyond these windows uh, in August of 2000. Uh, 2000. And uh, it's been wonderful to watch the physical growth over the first decade of the school, first Andrews Hall, and then wonderfully this building, Fairbanks. A really beneficial uh, aspect of the students' experience here that wasn't a, a formal part of our curriculum, but I think just came about from the experience of, of starting this school, is that uh, it's, it's very entrepreneurial. Uh, you know, in 1998, there was no school. And, and in 2000, there's a school, and then uh, each year, some, some new part has been added on. Every year, something, we've addressed something where it's like, we've never, we've never handled Situation X before, so what are we going to do? And a lot of it really is uh, an all hands on deck uh, situation. So students have been able to participate in the creation of this school. My favorite thing was being a part of so many firsts here. Um, you know, my first year here was the first year that we had a sports team. Um, and the first year for us to have the spirit run and for us to have big community service projects. 
that is that's really meaningful to me um, to be able to look back on it and you know tell my my cousins that are here now and you know tell my friends that are here now I was here when you know we won our first basketball game and you know that kind of thing that's really that's a really big uh, thing for me that I really enjoy uh, I really just had a really strong connection with certain professors they really under not only did they have like a enthusiasm and a passion for what they were teaching that they had a passion for engaging with their students and really making sure that they were understanding what they were learning and that they were engaged with it and that they were gaining something from the cat from the class you know it was it was a unique experience and I knew that that was something that I wasn't ever gonna get a chance to do again I mean, one of the things that that has really been a great experience uh, I think both for uh, me as a teacher and for the students as well. It's been the January term and that was one of the things that, uh, that uh, myself and Carolyn talked with the Websters about right at the very beginning. Um, she is a graduate from Middlebury College uh, where they have a, a winter term and that was something that she thought was a, a great part of her experience there and so she she started asking like well you know could we, could we have this in the, in the high school and that's one of the things that's been great about uh, University High School because it was brand new. There wasn't anything in the way uh, of that. It's like, well, sure, that sounds like a good idea. Let's, let's go ahead and put that on in. The first you know, 10 or 12 years, I think, have been the hardest years because we, we soon realized, unlike uh, a child who might be going to third grade or second grade or sixth grade, the parents decide. And they get the kid in the car, drop that child off at school. When it comes to high school, the children are making those choices. And if there's not a, a, a history, a legacy um, that's been in the community for a long time, where the kids have been thinking about it since they were young, it's very hard to attract those kids. So we've come through that, I think, that hard, that hard and difficult road. And now over the next 10 years, let's say from where we are today, 10 years out, I could see us getting to full capacity. You get people coming visiting the school now and they say, geez, it's a really small school, you know, 220 students and wow, um, it's big to us. Uh, we who were there even before students uh, started in. Um, so in that first year that, that uh, uh, Carolyn and myself and Chuck and Nancy were working on building up the school, I mean, that was before we even had students. So, I mean, all of this stuff was just in terms of ideas. And then that very first year, uh, we had uh, 20, we entered in 29 students into a, a ninth grade. So, I mean, there, there's probably the, the biggest change uh, for, for me is just now seeing a, a, a complete school. All, I mean, all the pieces, it's, it's really, it's fulfilling to sort of see now, 10 years later on, many of the things that we were talking about are now actually in place. You know, my hope for University High School is that we will retain the deep respect we have for one another, faculty, students, parents, that we will retain the first class education that we've created, but that we will get a little bit bigger. One of the great things about university is that they allow us as alums to get so involved. They allow us to come back. They want us to come back. Um, I gave AP exams yesterday. You know, they, they love that we're able to come back and help them in, in ways that they need us to assist them. Um, and it, it just goes to show that, you know, m me wanting to come back and help as much as I do goes a long way in, in my belief in the program that's established here at university and my belief in this place as a great institution. And in any young organization, uh, you know, the next challenge is how you transition to the next level of leadership. And I think we're successfully doing that today and bring in a lot of very talented young leaders and that will help keep the mission fresh keep the leadership engaged and i'm very excited about the future um, of university high school 20 or 30 or 40 years from now that when parents you know when they're looking at their kindergarten child and trying to decide where they're going to send that kid to school that with, where they know they're going to send that child to school if they're lucky enough is to go to University High School. I want to be that high school for the greater Indianapolis area.